So I'd like to start off with the debate by saying the medium is the message. This quote has a definition by saying that the way we perceive our information and how we take it in can affect the way we understand it. I believe that newspapers are still relevant in the in, are still relevant, and I stand by the position that the reputation that it's sorry. <laughs> And my position is with the newspapers and the reputation that it has built itself upon. I believe that newspapers are still relevant in this day and age because of the ability of, to give accurate and um, um, focused, like, focused arguments to the public eye. Uh, with, this, with, the day, <laughs> with the newspapers, I think that we engage with the newspaper with many different senses so that gives us a deeper understanding of how we understand a news article or a, um, an opinion of a writer. And not everybody has access to the digital world, so nor they can everybody afford it. So that's why I think that newspapers are still relevant. Great, back to you guys for your opening statements. <clears throat> All right. I'm Vera, this is Dean, and we're arguing for the side of the digital in today's digital age, the process of printing newspapers is, quite frankly, a waste of time. We hold any information we want or need literally in the palm of our hand. Smartphones and computers are the present and future of technology, and in that being the way we process and receive news. The digital age is only going to continue to advance, and with that advancement, the ancient process of physical newspapers will only continue to become increasingly irrelevant. We live in an age where breaking news stories will come directly to us through our phones. We can literally set alerts for that kind of thing now. Not to mention that news is immediate. We don't have to wait for the paper every Wednesday to let us know what's going on with the world. Between, sorry, between social media and actual accurate news sources online, information is immediate and always accessible. Any major publication now has an online presence which is becoming increasingly popular over their paper counterparts. Dean and I intend to prove to you that the process of printing a newspaper is simply no longer necessary in today's world. Revenue is decreasing for newspapers as everything moves online and online papers open a whole new world of possibilities. You can interact with other readers and start discussions on the content of the story right there below the article. The comment sections are always full of people sharing opinions that could be from anywhere around the world. The world has never been smaller than it is today. We can reach wherever we want and see whatever we want by the click of a button. The idea of print newspapers is simply not going to be able to keep up with the world we live in today. Okay, thank you for those opening statements. Now it's back to you for your four statements. Okay, so my first argument is that the audience is just not older people. A study done by The Straits newspaper has found that 36% of the people that read uh, newspapers are around the 21 to 34 age group. So that doesn't mean, that means like not only old people are reading the newspapers. Uh, my second, my second uh, argument is the accessibility. Not everybody has uh, it, like access to the internet or a tablet, um, and um, and like not everybody can like like sorry <laughs> sorry <laughs> yeah so not everybody can access it. Um, my si my third argument is that there is a understanding of like how we like sorry the understanding of way like the way we understand <laughs> are the information that we're taking in so. There was a study done by a neuromarketing firm, um, True Impact, done in 2009. Um, they say that they found that uh, physical material uh, seems more real to the brain, so meaning that we believe it more and like that the physical impact, like the physical sense that we have in these newspapers, like it's real and like it's true, unlike in digital, like someone else can just like write it and then like they can easily take that in um, and sorry and my third my, sorry my last argument is the rare chance for fake news so I think that um, so, so like with newspapers it has to go through it has to come from a source then the journalist and then who is in most times the writer and that has to go through the editor so they're gonna be fact checking everything that the writer has like written and then it goes to the publish publisher and that's probably gonna be fact checked by them as well. So they're gonna have a more accurate uh, more accurate story um, based just on like the process that it has to go through. Um, is that four? Yeah, those four. Yeah, okay. 
Excellent. <coughs> Back to you guys for your four points when you're ready. <clears throat> so printed newspapers are, they can be harmful and wasteful to the environment, which is one of the reasons why I think that we should continue in the way of technology. Uh, while most newspapers claim to be from recycled sources, in a study done by the United States Environmental Protection Agency, only 67% of those newspapers were recovered for recycling in 2013. So not all newspapers that are being printed are being recycled. And I know we can't expect 100%, but 67% is not enough. Uh, it just doesn't affect our landfills. It also affects the air that we breathe as well in the printing process. The total Canadian VOC emissions, which is volatile organic substances, from the printing operations were estimated at approximately 26.5 kilotons in 2009, which is from the Environment of Canada Emissions Quality website. Uh, and the cleaning printing press also creates VOCs, so we're getting like a double whammy with these environmental situations. There are some ways to attempt to help it, but we don't have enough of a process to be able to control these VOCs that are being released into the breathing air. Um, and my other point is, um, the mediums for news. So according to a statistic Canada, the, num the number one medium for adults 55 and over is actually television. It's at 73%, which is from 2010 to 2014, followed by the internet at 36%, which means a majority of older adults don't even rely on newspapers at all. Um, well, this, some of them do, but older audiences aren't relying on newspapers, and neither are younger audiences. We're going from TV to internet now. We're not focusing so much on newspapers. And the proportion of Canadians who reported following news at all in current affairs declines from 68% in 2003 to 60% in 2013, which is from the Statistics Canada as well. <coughs> so not only newspaper coverage is unnecessary, it's also gone unneeded for quite some time now. All right, um, moving on to revenue. Making money is obviously a huge principal factor for any business. Take a major world paper like the New York Times. Uh, in a report they released on August 1st of this year, 2017, the Times reported a 10.5 decrease in their print ad revenue. That means they're not making money in their printed newspapers. Uh, the print industry is crumbling. Looking at a stu study published by the Pew Research Center, print circulation of all weekly newspapers has gone down from 87,000 to 61,000 in the past four years alone. Moving to audience, in another study published by the Pew Research Center, it states that 93% of adults get their news online. That's a huge majority. The generation that refuses to acknowledge the internet is slowly becoming less relevant. There is no reason to keep something so wasteful and archaic around anymore. According to StatsCan, as of 2011, 81% of the total population of Canadians live in urban areas. So it's very unlikely that in any area you have zero chance of access to the internet or at least cable to watch the news. If everyone has access to the internet or cable, nobody needs a printed paper. Okay, okay so now we have a minute break before we get into our open debate, so you guys can get ready for that. A minute on the clock, please. I don't know how to put this, but I'm kind of a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best. All right. <laughs> nice. Okay, so open debate starts when you guys are ready. 
I'm going to have to disagree with you with the waste pro like the waste aspect of your argument because electronics are making up sorry one second here they are making up 9.4 billion tons of our landfill and only 12% of that is recyclable when newspapers are recycled they are 100% recyclable so you can remake so much more like you can't just like take like a bat like a battery and be like oh I'm gonna reuse this because it's gone and it's dead so with the newspaper you can go ahead and reuse that over and over again so but not all of newspapers are being recycled I think that's that's one of the issues I understand that cell phones can't be they can re be, re be refurbished and etc but it's still not meeting a quality of standard that's 